r slash ask reddit by reddit tales. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the videos. Do you know someone who got fired on their first day? What did they do? His last job. He was driving cars from where they were dropped off to where they were sold at auction. He was driving this really nice BMW sitting at a stop sign at the base of a hill. Semi truck carrying logs loses its brakes and slams him at 50 plus miles per hour. He then proceeds to T-bone another car while still getting pushed by the semi. Him T-boning the other guy knocked him out from in front of the semi and into another car which had seen what was happening and slid to a stop. The semi went over the hill and landed in the creek at the base. He got cut out of the car then airlifted out, along with the driver of the semi and the passenger of the car he t-boned, and when he called his boss, after emergency surgery, the boss fired him. He sued the hell out of the company for wrongful termination and he's been living off the money for 3 years. Damn that's insane. Not only were you in a multi-vehicle collision through no fault of your own, you get fired when you tell your boss. That must have been a fun civil suit. Why did you fire him? Ah uh, well uh, he didn't show up at work. I worked at a gas station a while back. Helped train this new guy. He was really nice. We all liked him first solo shift he walks away with $150 out of the register. Didn't even try to cover it up or anything. Everybody was shocked. WTF did he think was gonna happen? That he would make 3 days pay in one and never have to come back? About 25 years ago I worked as an assistant manager for Taco Bell. One day I was suddenly transferred to another store where both the manager and the assistant manager had been fired. They had been doing their Monday morning bank run. There was no bank run on the weekends, so it was 3 days of cash money before credit cards were widely used. The assistant manager hands a bag to the drive through guy and goes to get her car so she can pick it up from the drive through safer than walking it to the car. The drive through guy just walks out the front door with like $6,000. I wish I could say that was the last they ever saw of him, but he came back two weeks later to get his last check. They gave it to him. Worked at a 50s themed restaurant. Kid names Joe gets a job as abusive boy. Was told to clean tables and set them. Nothing more. Nothing less. First table he cleans he steals the tip. Server, foolishly, gives him the benefit of the doubt. Joe's next act of defiance. He approaches a friendly and elderly regular. They get to chatting. And the gentleman brings up that he has just had serious dental surgery. Joe is intrigued and begins failed negotiations with the gentleman for painkillers. The negotiations turned to pleading, and my manager intervened and promptly fired him. This all happened within the first hour. At orientation, they told the 12 of us that we were the best test and the brightest of 900 or so interviews they'd conducted. We got our access badges and our corporate Amex cards. One of the best and the brightest went to a high-end men's clothing store on his lunch hour and purchased $4,000 worth of suits, ties, and shoes. He came back from lunch and bragged of his exploits. Fired on the spot. He actually thought his Amex card was a job perk. Can I at least keep the clothes? I had just arrived at Great Lakes for boot camp. This was in 1991. And we are standing in line for our first introduction to what is known in the military as Operation Golden Flow or our first urinalysis test. As I'm standing in a very long line and tip tapping around, because I have to piss so much, a guy standing behind me taps me on the shoulder and asks what we are waiting for. I look at him and tell him a urinalysis. He looks at me and asks me what a urinalysis is, so I tell him to see who has taken any drugs recently. He nods, shrugs and says well, I guess I shouldn't have smoked that crack last night. He was serious. Now, he officially wasn't fired that first day, but about two weeks later, when his results came back he was. So yes, you can say that he was fired that first day, but had to suffer for a few weeks until officially let go. What kind of self-respecting crack addict doesn't know what a urinalysis is? My company hired temps for this big job. We didn't have a lot of space, so temps had to double up in cubicles. I did feel very bad for them, but some of their actions were hilarious slash terrible. Our laptops require a password to log in before doing anything. It's a grey screen with prompts for the username and password. Pretty simple stuff. 
one guy had his username and password written on a post-it note. He then spent two hours trying to figure out how to log in. He didn't realize he had to press enter. Two hours. Another guy's was chugging along at his task. His cube mate was sneezing or talking or something. His reaction? Slap her. He got escorted out of the building. The next day, he shows up to work again like nothing happened. He was escorted back out and told to please not return. Most of the temps were nice and did just fine. Some made you wonder if they would ever get a full time gig. Dude was fired not even an hour into his first day. I worked at a warehouse for about 3 months and the company was moving to a new location. So we were taking all the boxes off the racks, putting them on pallets, wrapping the pallets, and loading them onto several different trucks. One of my bosses was sent over to help train the new guy, but the new guy didn't know he was working with a boss. Halfway though our first pallet, new guy dropped a box he was supposed to catch because he was too busy texting. He starting bitching about how the box landed on his foot and he wasn't sure if he could keep lifting boxes now, so we sent him with a different group that was taping up the pallets. Once we finish our second pallet, the boss and I take it over to be tapped. The boss specifically requested that the new guy take care of it. Turns out new guy is missing. I'm now given the task of finding him. 10 minutes later I find a pile of clothes sitting on the ground in the back of the warehouse. I walk around it and absolutely could not believe what I was seeing. This guy took the clothes out of several boxes, broke the boxes down, and laid them out on the floor, and I shit you not this guy was fucking recording himself breakdancing. I'd like to imagine he was once an aspiring breakdancing master who had given up on his dreams. During the work shift he touches the cardboard and recognizes it Karagreed DF97, the Rolls Royce of cardboards. It rekindles his intense desire for breaking and he just can't resist. How is this not one of the top responses? Was there a strict no dancing on break policy? I fired a driver a month ago because she came in. I asked her for driver's information so that we could get her in the computer. I had already run a check on her driving record and it came back okay. She comes back with a bunch of irrelevant information and no driver's license. I said, oh, I need your driver's license as well. I could have sworn that was one of the first things I asked for. And she said, oh, okay. Comes back with yet more papers, but no license. I say again, Joan, I need your driver's license. All this paperwork you've given me has nothing to do with what I'm doing. She then says oh, and opens her phone case and pulls out her license. I finish putting her into the computer while thinking to myself, maybe she's hard of hearing. So, I sent her on three runs with another driver. Things seem to be going okay. Then I get a delivery that's literally a block behind us. Why they didn't just pick their food up is beyond me, but this is Ock, Maryland and the people there feel entitled, but whatever. So I sent her on this delivery, which should only take 10 minutes, if you're driving a Fred Flintstone mobile. And yet, she comes back an hour later with the food saying I couldn't find it. I said that she should have called the number on the ticket, and that I could literally walk the delivery to the house in less time then she could get her car started, and down the road. She said, well, I never signed up to drive all over Helen Creation looking for some house. I told her, yes you did. It's almost literally exactly that in your employee contract. But, if you're going to waste my product, drive away customers and be insubordinate, then I have no employment for you. Have a nice day. Please return my flag to me now. Was in the first couple days of two week training at University of Phoenix for recruiter, sales, jobs, there were four rows of desks with computers facing the front of the room. Instructor is mid-sentence when to it guys walk in without saying a word. One grabs this guy's computer tower, while the other rapidly unplugs all the cords. They take the tower and just walk out. The guy that was sitting there looks a bit dumbfounded and a little sheepish. The rest of us are a little confused. The instructor is thrown off a little, but the continues on. The guy who lost his computer sits there awkwardly for 20 minutes until the next break when someone from ours comes and escorts him out. Turns out the guy was surfing porn during his training for his brand new job and clearly knew at the time why they came and took his tower. He just had to sit there while a class of 20 other people did their own internal math on what he was just caught red handed for. 
I work for a pizza delivery and I have two stories, both about delivery drivers. 1. A very quiet girl was hired, and it was immediately apparent she was not going to last. We gave her a uniform shirt and hat, but her pants were about 5 sizes too big for her, and they were being cinched with a belt. The pants gathered around her waist in huge ruffles. Also, she was holding pizzas under her arm, like a book, which means all the toppings were sliding to one side. She kept doing this, and putting them into the hot bags the same way, like you tuck something into your purse. After a couple of runs, and customers being camped both times, she was taken off the road and we tried to work with her inside instead. It was then we noticed the smell of shit. Apparently, she had lost control of her bodily functions during the day and didn't bother to ask to go to the restroom or just go. She was told to go home and she didn't come back. 2. This was the girl's first job ever and it was obvious she had no idea about shifts, peak time, or being required to stay and help sometimes when it's busy. She initially started crying when she said she was hungry but she'd only been there maybe 2 hours. Then she sulked in a corner, while the rest of us were busy during dinner rush. Finally, once the rush was cleared, she asked if she could go home. When my then manager asked if she'd do some side work before she left, in a vain hope that she'd try to redeem herself, she then wailed, pizza is not my life. It might be yours, but it's not mine. My boyfriend is waiting for me. Ah, uh -huh. Yep, she left that night. For weeks, we'd joke around. Pizza's not my life. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment with your own first day fiascos. Subscribe to the channel for more great content. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified of future content.